Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Rube Crystal Set 03. Most notably contains Ultraman Victory, which allows them to transform into the ground form you see there. Also get Ultraman Hikari. And then two Kaiju Crystals down here, Gue Basa and Horoboros. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I really like this monster. I think the design is really cool. Cool color scheme. All that kind of stuff. Have a... Uh, vinyl doll review of him coming up probably later this week so very cool yeah those are the four you get in the package here turn around to the back going to get some really good sounds out of this one since it is one of the four official uh elements so really nice transformation jingles there hikari and the monsters we'll see probably nothing special but it is what it is let's go ahead and get these four out of the packaging and we'll take a closer look all right so we'll take a look at each of these and then pop them in the rube gyro here is Victory. First off, we'll start with the Rosso configuration. So there you have the transformation for Rosso into the ground form. So you get a nice final attack sound there. We'll go ahead and try the blue configuration now. So since that is one of the official form changes for both Rosso and Blue, you get really nice uh, transformation jingles and attack sounds for both of them. Unfortunately, the rest of these will most likely not be the case. <laughs> so here's Hikari. We'll go ahead and try Rosso. So you get the name of the Ultraman and then kind of a random, I guess, is that a transformation jingle? <laughs> is that an attack sound? I'm not quite sure. So you just get that same sound again. And unfortunately, if we do the blue configuration, it's going to give us the same sounds. There aren't different sounds when it comes to non-official transformations so while the capsule or crystal rather keep on to call them capsules while the crystal is rather nice to look at i do like the design of it sounds kind of limited uh next up we have guebasa i'm just gonna go ahead and just pop it right in because again they don't have form changes for monsters so it's not gonna matter I do like how the, like, waiting music is different. It can tell it's a monster. So that first roar sound is kind of the same for all monsters, and then you could hear that kind of screech because he's a bird. So that's a sound specific to Guayabas. It's a pretty neat little sound.
So they don't have different attack sounds, they just kind of have that sound again. And then last up we have Horoboros. I kind of like that wolf howl at the end. So that's pretty much it for the sounds. Um, the kaiju sounds aren't bad. They're kind of fun, generic sounds in the beginning, but then you get the kind of specific roar sound for each one. So I appreciate that at least the sound is different for each one. Uh, Hikari, again, kind of a generic. It's hard to tell if it's a transformation sound, an attack sound. Not too spectacular there. But with Victory, you do get the nice transformation sound because this is one of the four official form changes for Rosso and Blue. So you actually do get a different sound for both configurations along with a different attack sound for each. So this is definitely the most exciting <laughs> crystal in the pack. So the other three won't make any kind of specific sounds in this. They'll just say Rube Slugger Attack like any generic crystal does. But Victory is one of the special ones. So we will definitely go ahead and check this out. First I will turn this on. And then I will separate it into the Rosso blades. Really, you can just put this one off to the side. It just knows whether that thing's connected or not. So you can see it's red for Rosso. Plus you can see it's yellow for victory. So then you push this button down to pop it off. And now I'm going to connect this again. Now we have the blue configuration. So there you go. Push the button in again. <laughs> so like I said, there are, I think, I have to remember the exact uh, checklist, but there's about six crystals that actually will get unique sounds out of this for both forms. All the rest just have that generic Rube Slugger attack, but Victory is one of the special ones. So it's a nice set. I mean, it's worth it, if nothing else, to buy this set for Victory. My problem with the crystals is the problem I have with literally every crystal release there is. They look great aesthetically. I think they're very fun. I like the pictures. I like the fact that the light shines through the kind of kanji symbol in the front. I like the way the pieces in the back flip out. It's all very fun aesthetically and physically. But the sounds that you get out of the Rube Gyro, if it's not one of the like 5 to 10 special ones it's very limited so like you're going to collect a bunch of these but then you know three-fourths of the collection won't really do all that much the sounds you do get are decent i just wish there was a little bit more so your mileage is definitely going to vary with these but i would say if there's any sets you're going to collect collect the sets that actually have one of the special forms in them and victory is a special form so if nothing else i think the set's worth picking up for that let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching.